My goodness, who designed the school uniform? Because all the girls... Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. All the guys, though, they're kind of boring designs. Now, our main character, Glenn. He seems to be some kind of orphan that was raised by... What was her name? Celica? Because he was reading the story about the Grand Wizard and... <laughs> Grand Wizard. Racist. But, like, the wizard and, like, um, like a demon lord or something. And Celica was there. And Celica wants... You know, uh, Glenn to live a fulfilling life. So he went to school, graduated, then for four or five years he disappeared, now came back, and he's now forced to kind of teach. But he doesn't care about teaching. He does not give a fuck. He's so shameless, he has no shame, and he is just so upfront about it. He's like, teach yourselves. I don't want to be here. Oh, what's that? Your rich dad could get me fired? Please give me his contact info. Please fire me. And then we had the duel. But the duel ended him in losing because the meta of this show is speed casting. You know? It's whoever can just go first wins in this, you know, in, in this show. But it can't be the only way, right? That must be just like one specific way of using magic. Glenn has to be OP. Right? This is the debate that they put us in, and it's gonna be some kind of twist where he is actually super OP. But there's like significance in like the speed casting. There's also the floating castle, which is something that the princess needs to like one day retake in plots like that. And other than that, I, I think we're pretty much set. Let's begin today's episode. Why'd you, why'd you nail a book? Oh, he just ignored, he just ignored her wishes. <laughs> He would actually teach her. Oh, why we and this world exist? You exist to whore out your fucking outfits to a bunch of audience that's degenerate and horny for you for money. You don't exist. Alright. What use is it? Yeah, it is very pretentious, huh? That talk is like very pretentious. Hello, Stinky Cheese 24. That talk is like very pretentious, like a higher plane of existence, but maybe that would lead to the castle or something? The floating thing? Infinite energy. He shits on magic. <laughs> That's so elitist. Something so lowly as helping humanity. What what is it for then? Stroking your fucking elitist intellect fucking like dick? It's just like a self-masturbation of how great we are? What is the truth then? What a bastard. Just a slight bit of motivation. So, bro's philosophy with magic is like, it's just so efficient at killing. That's pretty much it. That's what magic is to me. Okay. Magic bad! Damn, the background. It all changed. Ooh. Slap with the most cunny fucking camera angle to show off Sisty's thighs, but for the first time, Glenn really felt like he got serious there, huh? He got triggered. He was like actually speaking with passion, just telling her that, you know what? Magic is for killing. That's pretty much it. Nothing else. And therefore, I'm being a good teacher by not teaching you kids how to use this art of killing. What is the logic? Does he actually truly feel this way? Damn, he's shocked. Just slap her. Slap her. Slap her. I, she's crying right now. I I kind of hope that he would slap her and be like, "I'm a true feminist." I hate you. Time to go correct her. We just bullied a 15 year old kid and destroyed her entire worldview of magic. She went off crying. 
Nah, we should get this kid fucking fired, bro. Nah, bro. Not fired. Kick this. This 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 kid just ass assaulted a teacher. No, I'm t I'm going to the fucking principal. Kick this bitch out of school. She won't though. Right? You gotta stay here. Oh lord, what's she summoning? Uh-oh, uh uh-oh. Hey. That's like a sissy's best friend. Glenn's actually interested for once. Knows a lot about magic circles. Magic is more sacred. What the fuck? Now he's glazing magic. These nuts. Ligma. Bigma. CD. Uh, wow. What kind of magic is this? Bubbles? Bubbles? You summoning bubbles? Oh, she loved the bubbles. Why'd you change so much? It's the five years. What did he get sent to do for those five years after he graduated? He was a genius. He graduated early. Did he get enlisted into military? Like fucking Mo like Mahoka? Like fucking, you know, like uh, Tatsuya? Did he have to go kill people? Is that why he was t Hawkman killing so much? In those five or four years, all he was doing was killing people using his advanced magic? <coughs> And now he's coming back, and that's why he's kind of like shitting on magic now. And there's this hesitancy. Like, what's going on? Hey, he's, he's being a sundere, huh? Cap. Really? Being a neat? No, no, no. Years before that, though. Yeah, before that. This motherfucker won't tell us. Mm, something bad dark happened then that made him like this. Most likely he got drafted and was used to like exploit his powers for killing people and that's why he's so jaded like this. It's gotta be something like that, right? Because they're not all OP like you, bro. She was banished? <laughs> oh shit. Evil mages. Was that Glenn? He had a reaction there. He Does he remember this shit? Wait, hold up. Wait, wait. Did I do that? Did, did, did I save you? Wait. Mage of Justice. What? <laughs> Yeah, trying to hide it. He did. Oh, he did. He recognize the last episode? Maybe I forgot. I was too focused on the girls, you know, fucking the the garter belt designs. But look at this shit. They're not even hiding his hair or the gloves that he wears. So he was sent off as like this like hero of justice, taking out bad mages. Why does he always wear glass gloves? Now I'm sounding like you guys. Kaka, why are you wearing gloves, Kaka? Why why are you wearing gloves? Why, why are you wearing gloves? What's going on with the gloves? Motherfucker! I burnt my hand cooking before! That's why I was fucking doing it, but everyone kept asking, so I just decided to fucking stop answering because y'all keep me asking the same fucking thing over and over again. What a pure innocent girl, man. You're already thanking me by telling me how appreciative you are. Aww. だがな。ショックボルト程度とか言ったか <laughs> you took that shit seriously. Megan, I just got insulted on this intelligence, bro. Bug. He's looking at that fucking reaction. Oh, Borderline chant. What happens? 
Like my dick? What does that mean? I don't understand. It curved right. Five lines? There's so many different variations of shock balls just by increasing beyond the standard three and then replacing some lines here and there. Okay. Advanced form of auto suggestion. Just because you asked ChatGPT for the auto suggestion and it corrected everything doesn't mean that's the end. You can customize it, build on top of it, extend it, remove some things, and it can become even more customized, customizable. That's the whole idea with magic right now. <laughs> それは間違いだ。魔術は言葉ごときにそんな力があるなんて信じられんとでも言いたけどな。そんなら、死、死、死、死、死、死、死、死、死、死、死、死、死、死、死、死、死、死、死、死、死、死、死、死、死、死、死
<laughs> I'm not getting involved, bro. I am not getting involved. This is a college thingy, bro. No. I'm more for Seneca. I, I'm more for Seneca, bro. Perked up? You looking pretty perked up too, ma'am. For one day. And it's all thanks to that girl, Sissy's friend. This is the true shit. What is that blush, bro? What is that? For, uh... So, I... Obviously, she trained him. He's the apprentice. He left for a while to kill a bunch of people. But, but, he then took one year off and stayed at her place. And she might have even helped him get pulled out, right? And then he must have just kind of like, been like, she must have been just like nurturing him. And that's like healing his like mental shattering after the events of those four years. What exactly happened? Killing bad mages? I don't know. Groomed? Absolutely. My man Glenn has been groomed since a child. Absolutely. Serika, this is her best product. She said it. Conference. Like, how, how, how is that gonna work? Is, is Huey actually coming back? Because we're a sub. Get the fuck out of here with Sisty, bro. Get get the fuck out of here with these other ass, you know, these, these girls, bro. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. She is the truth. Bro acknowledges it. Besides, after getting used to seeing a woman like you, everyone else is mid, bro. I haven't... I think this is the first time I've seen a protagonist. Not this isn't a rom-com, but this kind of, like, confidence and, like, to tell a girl like that since Bunny Girl Senpai, right? Sakurama, like, he would just tell, you know, senpai that, like, yeah, you hot as fuck, all these girls trash. He'd be like, what? You, you, you complimenting me? You know? This guy's fucking giga chad. <laughs> Don't shove your breast against me. <laughs> so. Yeah, I need to kind of clutch. Also, when, 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 when Glenn said that, if I have someone, if I've seen a woman like you, how could I be used to average girls? Is, is Glenn then saying that Sissy's average? Shironeko and her friend, they're mid, they're average? Was that the insult to them? Bastard. <laughs> More than friends. They probably hold hands when they sleep. Nah, they can they can get together. Not not, not like that, that, that. Be okay with being friends. Yes. Third rate mage cap. Who is this? There's a symbol of some kind of like sword and kind of snake around it. Is this Huey? Nah. But there's a different fact. When the magic conference commences, Sedika is in trouble. Glenn needs to go save him. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. They're really underestimating Glenn, huh? They don't really know how good he is? Magic terrorist. Glory to the divine wisdom. And very interesting how they had, um, what's the word? They, 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 they had, like, the voice of the enemy started to speak once that castle of Megarius or something. So, is the divine wisdom related to this Megarius person? Or else, why would the castle be in sight and doing that? I don't know. I don't know. Divine glory to the divine wisdom. There's different factions. Who is the divine wisdom? <laughs> No toast in mouth. Wait, it's a little quiet here. Soundtrack changed. Yo, are we gonna go fight already? I feel bad for this guy. What is this? What is bro doing? What is the fucking lunch monitor doing? Bro, don't get in the way. You're gonna fucking die. Can you even like what, what's going on? Corruption fester. Oh shit, they can use magic like that too. That was the hotkey magic that we were talking about, right? How it said paralyzed and shock bolt came out. So all these kids are, you know, ready for the concert and uh, Sensei's gonna be late. Why do you care about that? Hmm? 
why, why do you care if he's popular? You jealous that you're not monopolizing Sensei's time? Hmm. Dusty, what's going on? I feel a little jealousy. <laughs> Is Glenn dead? Is Glenn dead? No, no, no. Bang! Shirogeko! Military gray. So my theory on what Glenn was doing... Actually, it doesn't really matter. But there's like different tiers of magic. Military grade magic, okay. <laughs> What's important about Rumia? And she was... No, she got banished from her place in the flashback, and then she was happened to get attacked by a evil mages. But we don't know why she was. Was it just a coincidence? Are they here to finally get her back? She must be super fucking important, right? Because they're after her now, and they were after her before. There's something important about this character. Oh, no one's snitching. No one's snitching. <laughs> Wait, what? 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 Wait, I expected Glenn to save everyone already. <laughs> Put a Sharingan on there. And this is Uchiha Madara. Am I crazy? Or am I right? I think I'm right. Princess Ermiana? She's a princess too? What the fuck? She's royalty? I thought she was a random girl that was just like a handmaiden for Sisti, so she is a princess. Ermiana. Rumia was a lie. Okay. Important princess. They're here to take the princess hostage? Yeah! <laughs> One more time. I don't know. Sometimes just like brutalizing girls like this is just like hilarious. It's just so it's just so unnecessary, it's just so mean out of fucking nowhere. It's funny. Hey, she 15! She 15! Oh bro, this is getting so creepy! Dude, are you serious? <laughs> are we watching sexual art online right now? What? 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 what, what sex, sexual assault online? What is going on, bro? This is fucking creepy as fuck, bro. Uh, uh, why are you making me so uncomfortable like this, man? Nani? Glenn, where are you at? She did fold. Glenn, die. Shine. Oh. Oh. There's no way. Glenn just enters and is like, oh. Sorry, I didn't mean to catch you guys doing that. I close the door and walks away. That would be peak comedy, but that would be also so fucked up if he just like walked to me like, oh, sorry. Oh, my, my bad. I didn't park my car here. <sighs> It did look kind of awkward. Like I don't know. Maybe they're like I don't. I don't know. Maybe they. I don't. I don't know. Uh, I mean, he's already committed a crime already. Hmm? Bang! Zudong! Oh shit! Oh shit! Bro is Onisama. He can just like see a magic circle. Disrupt that shit. Alright, he's got that kind of powers. This is over. 
Why? What is... Who are... What's an arcana? <laughs> New mechanics in the show? <laughs> so the card is fucking... Wait, we're going Yu-Gi-Oh all of a sudden? We're going card system in here? So it's not just like magic, bro. Just pulls out a card. With this power, you've activated my trap part. Cancel all magic. <laughs> Domain expansion. At that level? <laughs> he can't activate? <laughs> so it's going to be a fist fight now. It's just Taijutsu fist fight because it cancels everything for everybody. But like, that was kind of OP for a second. Fist! Let's fight! <laughs> oh shit, he's a martial artist. <laughs> Yo! This show is just like subverting my expectations multiple times. Even in episode one, I thought like he's gonna win the duel, but he didn't. And then episode two, he started to teach us about the fucking magic and you can extend shit. And then it's the car system, but it's like, nah, he's a fucking martial artist. Like in the flashback scene at the panel when he was battling the evil mages, it did look like he literally cut someone's arm off with his arms, right? So, okay, bro's like actual taijutsu master. <laughs> Hand to hand combat style. Imperial military. So he was a military. He was recruited out of the school immediately, joined the Imperial military, got sent off to do all these fucked up missions. Sedika pulled him out because she saw how much this kid was losing it. One year of being a neat. Now we're here, jaded as fuck about magic, but Rumia has rekindled a passion. That's pretty much what the story is so far, right? <laughs> Substitute teacher! <laughs> it's a small one. Thanks. Thanks for letting us know. <laughs> what does he have? <laughs> oh, th this is a mash shit. This is some mash shit, bro, from Muscles of Magic. Here's my uh muscle magic. Here's a punch. <laughs> <laughs> that was a kick! That was a kick! You subverted my expectations again! Yeah, I know. Wow. That's today's episode, bro. That's today's episode. Holy shit. I can't believe how, like, how much this anime is just, like, surprising me. Because, like, I thought I kind of knew what was going on. But it's like, nah, bro. It's like, he lost the duel. He didn't do the main character shit in episode one. Then even here, he's using cancel magic, and it's like, is he gonna use magic? Nah, he's just gonna fucking fight with his bare hands. Imperial hand-to-hand -hand combat. The fool of Arcana. Seems pretty broken, but it's also actually broken, because we can't use magic. And it only really works well if, you know, we are good at, like, imperial fist-to-fist -fist fighting. I really wonder why exactly why he got pulled out of the program. Sedika must have done something to it, right? But that's very interesting. Now, the greatest mystery really is, what is the significance of, you know, Magalius's castle or something? And who is Rumia and why was she trying to get assassinated? Why was she um, tried to get assassinated, you know, many years ago when Glenn saved her? Now she's been using it as a bargaining chip because the magical conference is happening. No other teacher is here to kind of do that shit, right? So they took this opportunity to raid and took Rumia. We still have to save Rumia so the danger is not over. There is some creepy ass shit. I don't know. I feel like fan service like this is so... So just disgraceful, just, I don't know. It doesn't make me feel comfortable watching it. Sometimes there's like funny fan service where we could just joke about it. This is like, ew, bro, what the fuck? But hey, Glenn saved the day, and here we are. And that's it from me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time, take care.